In this video, I'm actually going to show you how to create a nice simple graphic that you could use as a call to action similar to the ones we've been seeing on some of these sites that we looked at earlier this week. So I've already gone on to Google and I've gone and found a graphic for an album cover for a Flock of Seagulls album. It seemed to be one of the more popular ones because it came up a bunch. Uh, and I saved it in my raw folder because I haven't edited it yet for the site under raw graphics. Remember how we set that up? And it's just called album cover. So I'm going to open it up. First thing I'm going to do right away, check the size because we don't want to use anything on our site that's already way bigger than the divisions on our site. My guess is it's going to be a little large because it's taken a while to open. Okay, so while that's happening, we can go over here to the index page and down here we're going to have um, uh, the store, the record store or whatever. Okay. Um, I want to keep that heading tag. So. Coupons. You know what? This is just going to be coupons. Coupons for this month, okay? And then I'm going to put a call to action here. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that space now for me to put it into. So this division is content. If we go to content main, uh, that's at 100%. How wide is content? What's main? So the whole thing is 767, which means contents at 100. So we've got to figure out how wide this is. So tip box, how wide is that? No width, tip box, no width, div content. 551, there we go. Div content is 551. So whatever we make here, we don't want it wider than that. So go to the image size, it's smaller. Okay, fine, so that's good. We'll just use it the size it is. I, I would have, I'd probably go on to Google and find something a bit uh, bigger than that, but whatever. So it's one of the popular album covers. What we're gonna do to turn this into a call to action is literally find a nice thick font, maybe even something like this. I'm gonna do this fairly fast. So this is picking up on some of the knowledge you already have. Okay, change the color to white. Um, white is just all Fs, I could have just picked white too. And then we're going to type in uh, 20. Now that's huge, right? So highlight the text. Bring it down to 12. Maybe that's something we can deal with. How about 20? Okay, cool. So let's start with that and see how we do. So I've already taught you guys how to add the text. I'm just doing it now. 20% uh, twenty off. Oh, it's still set up to be. Those lines are huge. This is a problem. That's something I set on from before, so this should be about the same size as the font. Okay, 20% off. Uh, this weekend, something. 20% off now. All right. Let's say maybe. Up here you can say get 20% off now. All right. So you add some text. Uh, go to the layer with the text. Make it stand out a little more. Give it a stroke. I mean, I could do a ton of stuff to this, guys. I'm just trying to make this simple. So I'm using a simple graphic to create a call to action for the record store. So there's no transparency or anything. Just save it as a JPEG. Uh, high is probably fine. Didn't look like it was that high quality of an image. Now we save this in the images folder for our advanced site. Okay, site folder, um, images, album cover. Possibly give it a name that involves a little more keywords, but once you have it done, you get it in your content. Okay, refresh. It's right there. Alternative text, get 20% off in the flock of Seagulls, fan site, record store, uh, online only. You do this kind of stuff, right? So those are in the keywords. And then you create a link to the page that you're going to set up as your store. So, I mean, that's not set up yet, so this is fictitious. But that's it. I mean, I just created a call to action out of a graphic simply by using the text tool in Photoshop. I mean, that's how simple it can be. Another cool thing you can start to do with pictures, and let's pretend that I, I used a graphic with four different album covers broken up, which I'm not going to do for the sake of the video length here. 
you can then link to each individual album separately, even though it's only one picture. Okay, so I'm going to take the link off the picture itself and apply four different links to the picture. This is really neat. It's called Hotspots. Okay, so if you go to the Common tab in Classic, Hotspots should be one of your choices because it's it's actually a fairly common uh, tool to be used. So you click it, and once you click on it, okay, you're going to have a different looking cursor, and you're going to be able to draw a hotspot. And then it says describe the image. You got to go down here, give it a link, and say store album one or whatever the, the hyperlink is, right? You link directly to it. Um, if it's in your site, out of your site, whatever. HTML. Target can stay the same. You can have alternative uh, content still for just that link as opposed to only having it for the picture. So buy album one now. And obviously, you'd have a real name for the album. So there you go. I want to do four more. Okay, well, check this out. Draw the other hotspot. Draw it right there. Put in the information. I'm not going to put it in quite yet. Go here. Draw another hotspot here. Put in the information. Yada, yada, yada. Draw a hotspot. So graphics are very cool in the sense that you can actually create multiple links inside of the same graphic as long as you have the graphic in your HTML. You will not be able to draw hotspots over CSS images. So this image is in the background of the CSS and the banner. You can't use hotspots there. It has to be over a JPEG, PNG, or GIF, and then you can do hotspot um, links, okay? And then each of the links would go to the different pages you've set up for each of those albums. And obviously this isn't the best example because I don't want to make another graphic and make the video all long, but that's hotspots right there in the comment tab. Really cool way to specify one specific area for, for a link. And I'm gonna show you a great example of something I did like that. Um, on Andy's site here, I set up an area in the site where it breaks up uh, the different departments within the surf shop, okay? So if you go here uh, and you're not looking for soft goods, you're looking for gear, there's gonna be different sports that the surf shop focuses on. So this whole thing here is actually one picture. It's one picture with a white background that I just put in the white div. And then I made a hot spot in the picture for each. So when I click on this, it goes to the kiteboarding department, okay? Wait, sorry, wakeboarding department. When I click on this, it goes to the kiteboarding department, okay? But this in itself is actually just one graphic. So if I right click here and go save picture, you're gonna see what it looks like, okay? I'm just gonna save that on the desktop. Oh, no, make a new folder there. Oh, I actually gave that a transparent background. Okay, well, regardless, I could have given it a white background and made a smaller graphic, but that's the picture, okay? And then you actually can draw the hotspots to where you want it to go. And it works with a PNG, GIF, or a JPEG. So there's a really simple call to action we made up and uh, a neat way to link to separate parts of a graphic and only if the graphic is in your HTML. All right, that'll be the end of that one.